a bird's eye view reserved for the brave. Especially when you factor in the lone plate of glass separating you from the landscape below. For Norman Surplus, that's all part of the draw. He feels very natural. And has been since he embarked on his global adventure back in 2010. An adventure that today brought him and his gyrocopter, a small open aircraft dating back to the 20s, to Dayton's Evergreen Aviation and Space Museum. There, he made a few warm-up laps before embarking on a 7,500-mile stretch across the U.S., Canada, the Atlantic, and back to his home in Northern Ireland. For the novice pilot with just 10 years' experience, it's the last leg of an unlikely trip around the world in an equally unlikely vehicle. It has been forgotten for so long, um, but it's got a, a very bright future. Um, it burns about a third of the fuel of a, of a similar-sized helicopter. And that in itself is, is a big plus for the future when fuel uh, prices are going up. Well, I always like to champion the underdog, and this aircraft type is an underdog. Perhaps because Surplus himself knows what it's like to fight the odds. He may not look like it now, but a grim diagnosis, bowel cancer, once left this man with supposedly months to live. That was 12 years ago. Today, Surplus is living every moment and taking in every view like it's his last. It is that idea that, um, that even if it looks very bleak, that uh, it is much uh, better to, to stay positive and stay hopeful.